Communization or communization in British English mainly refers to a contemporary communist theory in which there is a mixing up of insurrectionist anarchism, the communist ultra-left, post-autonomists, anti-political currents, groups like the Invisible Committee, as well as more explicitly communizing currents, such as Teori Communist. Quote, Obviously at the heart of the word is communism and, as the shift to communization suggests, communism as a particular activity and process. It is important to note the big differences in perception and usage. Some groups start out from an activist voluntarism tikken, invisible committee, while others derive communization as an historical and social result emerging out of capital's development over the last decades endnotes, Teori communist. Endnotes totally distinguishes itself from the mixing of all sorts of meanings of the word communization and explicitly refers to the different reception in the Anglophone world as opposed to the original French milieu from which it emerged as a critique. Theory In communist political theory, communization is the process of abolishing ownership of the means of production, which, in societies dominated by the capitalist mode of production, are owned by individual capitalists, states, or other collective bodies. In some versions of communist theory, communization is understood as the transfer of ownership from private capitalist hands to the collective hands of producers, whether in the form of cooperative enterprises or communes, or through the mediation of a state or federation of workers' councils on a local, national, or global scale. In other programs, such as those of some left communists, e.g., Jill Dove, Jacques Camaté, autonomists, e.g., Mario Tronti, and libertarian communists, e.g., Peter Kropotkin, communization means the abolition of property itself, along with any state-like institutions claiming to represent a given subset of humanity. In these accounts, humanity as a whole, directly or indirectly, would take over the task of the production of goods for use and not for exchange. People would then have free access to those goods rather than exchanging labor for money, and distribution would take place according to the maxim from each according to his ability, to each according to his need. History Origins and precedents The term communization was not used by Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels, but it was employed in the above sense by early Marxists. Communization in this sense is equivalent to the establishment of the higher phase of communist society described by Marx in critique of the Gotha program. In State and Revolution, Vladimir Lenin referred to the lower phase, organized around the principle, to each according to his contribution, as socialism, with the higher phase as complete communism, or full communism, as Joseph Stalin would later put it. Thus both Lenin and Stalin gave grounds for thinking of communization not as a transition from capitalism to communism, but as a transition from socialism to communism, a transition that would take place after the working class had seized power, and which may last a long time in the 1930s Stalin conceived of full communism as still a long way off. Thus the interval between the two transitions came to be seen as a necessary period of transition between the workers' revolution and communism. It appears that within so-called communist regimes the demand for communization was associated with an impatience with the period of transition and a desire to break with the remaining capitalist forms e.g., money, wage labor still in place in those regimes. Those pushing for a move toward communizing in this sense were typically denounced as ultra-left, with their suggestions dismissed as impractical and utopian, but they were able to point to the historical examples of the Paris Commune and the Spanish Revolution, where more radical measures of popular collectivization had been taken than in the Russian and Chinese revolutions, as well as to the German Revolution of 1918-19 and the Italian Council's movement of 1919-1920 in which the historic left communist 
tendencies had been formed. Topic: <laughs> Late 20th century. The association of the term communization with a self-identified ultra-left was cemented in France in the 1970s, where it came to describe not a transition to a higher phase of communism but a vision of communist revolution itself. Thus the 1975 pamphlet A World Without Money states, insurrection and communization are intimately linked. There would not be first a period of insurrection and then later, thanks to this insurrection, the transformation of social reality. The insurrectional process derives its force from communization itself. This vision was opposed to the statism and vanguardism of the Leninist conception of revolution, but it also identified the perceived failure of the Russian and Chinese revolutions carried out on the Leninist politico-military model with the insufficiency of measures taken to abolish capitalist social relations e.g. lack of direct collectivization, persistence of monetary relations. It also reversed the supposed pragmatism of the Leninist focus on the state, arguing that the final goal of the withering away of the state could hardly be advanced by the seizure of state power and the establishment of a revolutionary bureaucracy, but that the most practical means to achieve this goal would rather be the abolition of the capitalist relations money, capital, wages on which state power depends. Thus Le Banquisher writes. One can foresee that a movement of communization that destroys the state, undermines the social base of the enemy, and spreads under the effect of the irresistible appeal arousing the birth of new social relations between men, will bond together the revolutionary camp far better than any power which, while waiting to conquer the world before communizing it, would behave no differently than a state within this 1970s French tendency, communization, thus came to represent the absence of a period of transition and a conception of revolution as the application of communist measures throughout the economy and society. The term is still used in this sense in France today and has spread into English usage as a result of the translation of texts by Gilles Dove and Théory Communiste, two key figures in this tendency. In collaboration with other left communists such as François Martin and Karl Nesic, Dove has attempted to fuse, critique, and develop different left communist currents, most notably the Italian movement associated with Amadeo Bordiga and its heretical journal Invariance, German-Dutch Council Communism, and the French perspectives associated with Socialisme au Barbary and the Situationist International. He has focused on theoretical discussions of economic issues concerning the controversial failure of second international Marxism including both social democracy and Leninist communism. The global revolutionary upsurge of the 1960s and its subsequent dissolution, and on developments in global capitalist accumulation and class struggle. <laughs> Early 21st century. In the late 1990s a close but not identical sense of «communization» was developed by the French post-situationist group Ticken. In keeping with their ultra-left predecessors, Ticken's predilection for the term seems to be its emphasis on communism as an immediate process rather than a far-off goal, but for Ticken it is no longer synonymous with «the revolution» considered as an historical event, but rather becomes identifiable with all sorts of activities, from squatting and setting up communes to simply sharing, that would typically be understood as pre-revolutionary. From an ultra-left perspective such a politics of dropping out, or, as Ticken put it, desertion. Setting up spaces and practices that are held to be partially autonomous from capitalism, is typically dismissed as either naive or reactionary. Due to the popularity of the ticken related works call and the coming insurrection in U.S. anarchist circles it tended to be this latter sense of communization that was employed in U.S. anarchist and insurrectionist communiques, notably within the Californian student movement of 2009-2010. 
More recently its ideas have been elaborated and extended in discussions with like-minded groups including the English language Endnotes and the Swedish journal Riff Raff. Together these collectives have recently collaborated to produce SIC, an international journal of communization issue number one was published in 2011. Topic. See also Left communism Ultra-leftism Jill Dove Communism Marxism Amadeo Bordiga Situationist International Guy Debord Raoul Vanijem <laughs>